My name is Ariana. I'm the Youth Initiative Coordinator at the Metal Museum, and I'm going to show you how to make a flower out of recycled material. So the things you're going to need for this activity are a printout of our flowers, which I've attached to the Facebook page, a pair of scissors, a pair of pliers with a wire snipping option, and a piece of wire and some tape, oh, and a nail and cardboard and this will come in handy later. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to take your scissors and you're going to want to cut out your flower template. Now I normally roughly cut these out because they don't need to be perfect right now. So I'll just give them a cut. Now you can print this off or you can hand draw it or trace it from your laptop screen which is what I did because I don't have a printer. as I go. Now that I have these rough shapes, I'm going to take my aluminum. So the aluminum cans that I've used for this activity are just soda cans that I cut the tops off of. Um, you might want to get help with this if you're younger. The edges can be pretty sharp. So I'm just trimming off my sharp edge right now. So you're going to have a strip that looks like this. A strip that looks like this. And you're going to use your tape to tape all of your pieces to your metal. So it'll get a little bendy, but that's okay. This is going to help us later on. So now that you've taped all of your pieces, all of your templates to your aluminum, you're going to start cutting them out now with your scissors. So gets a little bendy there, here and there. So when you get to these, you're going to want to cut around and down, but don't cut into the circle because you want to make these petals. So when you cut these, I usually go around and then start going in like this to get all the petals. So when you have it like this, you go almost all the way down, but not all the way. Because you don't want to cut through. You just want to cut down. And then as I go, I just put the ones I've cut to the side, and I put my trash over on this other side.
I've got all of my pieces cut, I'm going to discard my trash. And I'm going to grab a piece of wire. So I got this from Lowe's a while back. And you're gonna use your pliers to twist the end like a snail. And that is gonna keep your um, flower in place. Just twist it. And that should be enough. Now you're gonna take your cardboard and your pen and you're gonna poke a hole in every one of your cans. So you wanna poke it and you kinda of wanna push it through the nail. That way the hole is big enough to put your wire through. And once you've done that, you can order them into size because we're going to do a particular order. So the first thing you're going to put on your flower is your, I call this the propeller shape. So you can bend it up like this into a petal shape and you're going to face it down and then push it through your wire. Like so. And that's going to come all the way to the very end like that. Then you're going to start out with your smallest little flower and go around now right now I have the design facing upwards because we're gonna be looking at the flower from this way but when we get to the next one the next biggest one I like to flip it downwards that way when we curl up the petals you can see the orange on the outside kind of makes a lot of noise as you're going, you can begin to like cut them off so they look like more like a flower. And then again, the next biggest, we're still going in size. And you've noticed that I've left kind of our starfish shape left. Sometimes you just wiggle. And then our next biggest one. So it's starting to look like a flower now. And then we're gonna put our starfish on. I like to put it design side up. So this is where it gets a little tricky. We're gonna create a twist on the end with our pliers, like so, because we want to kind of pinch those. So kind of like that, and then squeeze. And then I'll hold them like this. And then I go around it, kind of wrapping it with the wire until it holds all of my flower petals on. And then when you're done twisting, you can bend it upward. And I like to just give it a little pinch and a bread tie twist like so that way it can sit in something so here's where you know the magic kind of happens i'm going to take my pliers and start to crinkle these petals like so that way it just looks a little more alive And you don't have to do this. You can leave your petals smooth if you want. I think I might leave some of mine smooth. And if your 
petals rotate around a little bit, that's okay. So I'm gonna cup them up a little and spread them out and you have a flower. You can set this in a jar or in your planter just to give your plants a little friend and you're done. I hope you guys had a great time and that this tutorial was fun and helpful and we're saving the earth by using recycled materials. So you guys have a great day. Bye.